when he wrote them and now and where we're headed as a country and the world in relationship to these issues? Oh, that's a dangerous question. I had to ask. That's a, that's a loaded one. It's <laughs> relevant. And you can make it quick or you can say nothing at all. It's up to you. But I would love to hear if you'd like to say anything. Well, I'm just going to say, I think every world leader should be strapped down to a chair and forced to watch all Star Trek episodes. And then when they're done, it will be peace. And that's pretty Good much idea. Jean, there, there's a quote that I've seen, you know, people pass it around on the internet and things like that, from Jean, saying that, you know, until we learn as a species, humanity, to embrace each other's differences and celebrate each other's differences and not fear each other's differences, we're doomed. We're never going to be able to make it as a species. And that's what he, his message was with the original series. That's what his message has been with all of these going forward, is to embrace the differences of, you know, a different species, for example. Not just a different race of human or a different color of human or a different religion. I mean, it's, we have to learn to embrace each other and not be afraid of people who are different. We've got to learn to come together. It's the fact, it's the fact that we all are so different, that we all have different beliefs and different ethnicities and different languages that makes humanity an exciting journey. If we were all the same, we'd die of boredom. Uh, we have to let uh, everybody be who they are. We have to live and let live. Um, I think that, well, you know, Star Trek takes place in the century it does, and I think it gives everybody a sense of optimism that uh, in the future we will be able to work out all of our differences and live um, uh, much more harmoniously. Uh, and if you think about it, you know, there, over the centuries in, on this planet, there have been world conflicts, world wars, battles, and waged everywhere. And if you're thinking about it right now, we do not have that. We've reached a point since World War II that there haven't been world conflicts. Um, so I think we are moving very slowly. But inexorably forward, I think that eventually our cultures and ideologies will be uh, homogenous. They will be, we will all be more universal in our, in our understandings and beliefs and things like that. And I believe that as soon as our priorities shift from ideology to families, children, human beings in general, that is when we're going to make the move and that's when it will happen. It is a long process. Uh, we didn't get here overnight, and our uh, cultural evolution will take a while as well. But uh, if Star Trek is any indication, I think that we mu we have we have a chance, uh, and I think that we'll reach that point. We'll start. It'll be very slow. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, nothing does. So uh, eventually, we'll get there. But Tim, I want it to happen overnight. <laughs> Are you sure? So, I, 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 I echo everything that everybody said, um, but I think that uh, one of the problems is that, and, and I put myself in, in the same boat with everybody else, but I think humanity sort of has to mature. Um, there's no reason why we should be afraid of science. Uh, there's no reason why we should be afraid of atomic energy, it's because, or nuclear energy, it's because people are afraid that some maniac is going to, you know, kill a bunch of people. Well, we need to get rid of the maniacs. We need, we need to, we need to embrace what we have at our, at our disposal, at all of our resources, and, um, grow. Uh, we're, we're still sort of in our, um, uh, junior high stage, I think. And, and that does, I don't mean all of us, but, you know, some of us are, and, and I, think, I think Star Trek fans uh, represent really the, the best of, uh, you guys look like humanity, you guys look like the rest of the world, and um, there's, a, there's a nugget inside of each one of you that has a, has a hope, and, and um, and a faith, I think. So, uh, I th I think that um, we have a lot to teach um, uh, by our example, and that's that's what I, that's what I try to do. And um, 
I'm trying to get out of junior high school myself, but you know, the trying is is the is the goal. You know, it's, it's very important to recognize it and, and and then try to actually. Yeah. Fantastic. I think that's the question that Gene would ask if you were here. So thank you all very much. Well said. <laughs>